Good morning, everybody. Uh, I know I said yesterday that uh, I probably wouldn't do vlogs on a Monday, but I got some time to myself today, this morning, so um, I'm going to crank a very rare Monday vlog out for you guys. Um, last night, I was so, 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 so tired, and I went went to bed. And before my mom went to bed, she told me to uh, make sure she was up by 7 o'clock because she had to go to her grooming grooming shop and uh, talk to um, one of our relatives who is going to help us, help her keep the shop clean. Well, guess who ever slept? Um, yeah, I, I was just so beat last night because my my big night Saturday nights catching up with me um and like I said like yesterday like I said yesterday or not yesterday uh or was it yesterday no like I said Saturday no oh no, yes it was yesterday I'm sorry I'm all mixed up I don't know um like I said yesterday though on a vlog that I on the vlog that I did uh I didn't do much yesterday I just kind of Lay, you know, sat around, watched TV, listened to music, watched YouTube videos. Hi, Mama's Vlog 80. Um, and, uh, I, uh, just basically did that all day and, you know, just kind of chilled and made sure the animals didn't tear up the house and, you know, just things like that. Um, I have a uh, Monday Night Raw to look forward to tonight. Gonna watch and see what they do with uh, the uh, heavyweight title situation now that Seth Rollins is injured. Uh, he's expected to be out six to nine months with uh, a knee injury. He tore his ACL, his MCL, and his meniscus. And at the last, I read a, I read a an interview on uh, WWE.com where they asked him how he was doing and he said that his knee doesn't really hurt it just feels like there it just feels he just said it feels like there's nothing underneath of him when he when he tries when he tries to put stand up on it and put weight on it and they asked him like um, how much you know when his rehab starts and it basically starts like right after um he gets his surgery which i think is supposed to be t on tuesday i think and then after that he starts rehab and hopefully he'll be back by uh august i guess i don't know i'm not good with math so don't quote me on that um uh where was, what was i gonna say now i forget oh geez well, anyway, um, I don't have much going on this week. Uh, I'll probably just, you know, hang out around here. You know, make sure the dogs don't tear up the house while my mom was at work and things like that. We do have Thanksgiving coming up. I'm going to be doing that at my cousin's house this year. Uh, can't wait to go over there and spend time with them and the rest of the family and have some good food my cousin is a really good cook oh my gosh she hasn't made anything that I haven't liked and oh my gosh she is just such a good cook um and then for Christmas I forget where we're going for I think we're going to my other cousin's house for Christmas this year um and then like well before Christmas um we're going to my cousin's house where we're going for Thanksgiving to do a cookie bake. That's where they just get together, they bake cookies, they eat pizza, and you know, things like that. This will be my first time going because my mom can't go because she has to work. So, I'm going in her place. Uh, I don't know how I'll be able to resist eating cookies, even though I'm trying to behave myself and try not to eat so, so many sweets. Um... I have actually lost weight from uh, 
what I was because I used to it used to be where I would like eat sweets all the time. Like any time I saw one, I'd grab it and just shove it in, you know. But um, because I've gotten, I went from eating like six times a day where two of those times a day I'd eat, I'd just eat nothing but junk. I've gone from eating six times a day to down to four times a day. So I eat my three squares if I'm hungry for breakfast. Because sometimes I don't eat breakfast because I'm usually not hungry because I'm not, I'm not good in the mornings when it comes to that. Um, but, you know, I usually eat my three squares and then a snack at night and I'm good. So, instead of eating sweets, which I very rarely do now. I very rarely eat sweets now. I usually, like, maybe I'll eat my three squares and then eat, eat some fruit or a thing of yogurt. And then I'm good. Although, when I eat yogurt, I have to get the lactose free because I have lactose issues. But, um, other than that, I mean, I've done really good. I've, stick, I've stuck to my eating plan, and I haven't really, uh, jumped, jumped out of it. You know, I've lost about maybe five, five or ten pounds. I'm down from, like, one, I think my highest weight ever was 170, 170, 175, and I probably lost ten or like five or ten of that so I'm down to probably 160 165 maybe I'm not sure cuz don't quote me on that cuz last time I got weight I was 156 and of course you know with my uh with me being in a wheelchair it's very 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 difficult to find ways to get me weight because uh, the doctors the scale at the doctor's offices aren't made for people in wheelchairs, they're made for people who can stand on them and weigh themselves that way. And with me being a full grown adult now, my uh my parents can't pick me up and put me on a scale and combine our two weights, so to see how much I weigh. So it's kinda hard to uh get me weighed, so we just kinda guess that where I where I'm at, so I'd say I'm about one sixty, one sixty five now, so I know that's hard to believe from what, you know, I know, it's hard to believe, but that's where I'm at. Um, I know that, you know, I said I was going to try to, uh, um, put, try not to put so much wrestling related stuff on my videos, but I have somebody, uh, I'm subscribed to a person on YouTube whose family is uh they're all who they're all really big wrestling fans especially their son and I of course it's it's mom's vlog vlog ED that I'm talking about you know just might as well go out and say it it's mom's vlog ED's family that I'm talking about and I promised that I probably wouldn't do as much wrestling talk but I have to get this out because I know her son's a really big wrestling fan and I have to tell them about a match that I saw at the show on Saturday night that I went to. They had a well first of all the 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 company that I go to watch their company's not very old it's only like maybe two three years old so they don't have very many titles. Well Saturday night they had a match for um what were supposed to be the Right Coast Pro, that's the name of the company, the Right Coast Pro Tag Team Titles. Well, when they brought the titles out, um, well, first of all, the, 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 the team that claimed to be champions, they're, they're called the Baldwin Brothers. And they're so funny because they come out wearing wigs and when they take their wigs off, they're all bald. And sometimes I try to wrestle with the wigs on, and when they get hit, the wigs fall off, the crowd laughs, and everybody, you know, everybody has fun. Well, anyway, the Baldwin brothers would come out, and they would have their these little toy belts like you would get for a child. And the, the, the belts 
had pieces of hair on them like they were like they had hair it's kind of gross but anyway well the new the CEO of the company mr. Christer really not really nice guy he comes out and he says he says if we're gonna have this ladder match we're gonna have we're gonna take those belts and we're not gonna use those well he says we're gonna use them he says but they're not gonna be the titles anymore so he he goes backstage and he comes back back out and he's got this big briefcase look at this big case he puts it on the table on a table and he opens it up and he pulls out these really beautiful beautiful belts then they were the brand new right coast pro tag team titles so he says if you want these you gotta take those fake Kmart belts is what he called them Kmart belts off the off the chain and whoever whichever team grabs them they become the new tag team champions well let's just let, let, let me just start off by saying that this match was absolutely crazy okay I mean there wasn't a ladder in that building that was not used in this match so I have to tell you about this one spot in the match all four teams went out inside the ring and they each grabbed a ladder they brought the ladders in the ring so they ended up being four ladders each because there was four teams four ladders no not, not four ladders each it was four ladders for for two people to get on so it was four ladders and then two people from each team got on the ladder well they stat they, they did this spot where they put the ladder side by side so that it looked like you know and then they started all climbing the ladders trying to get the belts well they get to the top of the ladders and then one of the guys from one of the teams he's, he gets down off the ladders like screw this I want to just screw it up for everybody so he gets down off the ladder goes to one of the one side where all the ladders were sitting in a row and he pushes the ladder over so that it when it fell it fell on the other three like a domino effect and when that happened seven guys hit the floor hit the mat and four ladders fell on top of the other guys that hit the mat and let me tell you, it looked like a car wreck, okay? Like a car wreck. And the crowd went crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. That's why by the time I got home, that's why on Sunday when I did my blog, no, on, yeah, yeah, on Sunday when I did my blog, that's why I couldn't talk because I was, it was just crazy. I popped so hard for that. So... They they get the they all four teams you know finally get their act together and one team tries to climb up to get the belts. Well, one of the Baldwin brothers they they ended, they ended up winning the match. One of the Baldwin, Baldwin brothers climbs the ladder, knocks the other guy off. He hits he hits the mat, rolls out to the floor. Baldwin brothers climb to the mat, climb to the top of the ladder, grab the belts. They become the winners. So, next month, at the next show, on December 5th, they'll probably end up defending the titles. The tag team titles. So, I'm looking forward to that. But these guys wrestled their butts off. And if you missed the match, I'm telling you right, guys, right now, you missed a phenomenal show. It was absolutely amazing. Probably the best one of 20... The best one of 2015, for sure. Um... So anyway, I got that out of my system. Um, yeah, it was it was just really good. Um, so again, today I'm probably not gonna do much because I gotta watch watch these animals, make sure they don't tear up the house while my mom's out. So um, I'm gonna get caught up on my soap operas today. Don't hate, don't hate. I know I know guys aren't supposed to watch soap operas, but I do. I watch two. Um, gonna get caught up on my soaps today, watch my talk shows, 
watch my other shows that I watch during the day when there's nothing else on. And then tonight I'm going to get get geared up for Raw. See what happens and uh Elijah, if you watch, I hope Stardust is on on tonight for you, buddy. And I hope he wins. And I hope you enjoy the show tonight and let me know what you think is going to happen for the ta for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. Let me know if they announce any uh, tournament or whatever. If they announce any of the wrestlers in the tournament, I want you to let me know who wins. Um, who do you think is going to win? Um, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to close this out for today. I'm sorry it's kind of short, but... Uh, this is a rare Monday vlog. I probably won't do these every Monday, but I'll probably do them just when I can get a chance to do them. Because today's usually my mom's day off. Today's my mom's day off, and she, she's usually around the house on a Monday. Unless she's busy and has other places, places to go. So, Monday vlogs probably won't be consistent. But, um, I'll do a Monday vlog on any Monday that I can. So... If I can, you know, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know, make sure you hit that little button in your settings that will notify you in your email when I do my vlogs so that you can catch them and keep, keep caught up what's going on. And I will, oh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please do so. I will also leave links in the description below on where you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. And I hope you guys have an amazing Monday and I will see you all on, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.